Hello students, I am Priyanka. I am your mentor. Today I am here to start with the chapter number 2 that is the Northern Mountains. So let's kick start. Rearrange the letters to get the name of some cities. Write them on the blanks. Also write the name of the state slash union territory each city is in. The Northern Mountains stretch like a great wall across the northern and no northeast part of our country. It includes the Karakoram, Ladakh and the Himalayan ranges of mountains. They are the highest mountain ranges in the world. The Himalayas extend for 2500 kilometers from Jammu and Kashmir in the north to Arunachal Pradesh in the northeast. It is about 450 km wide in Kashmir and narrows down to about 160 km in the northeast. The word Himalaya in Sanskrit means a board of snow. A large part of the Himalayan range is covered with snow throughout the year. Nine of the ten highest mountain peaks in the world are in the Himalayan range. The highest mountain peak is Mount Everest in Nepal. It is 8,848 meters high. Now it's time for tits and bits. A pass is the lowest part in a range of mountains. Passes are of great help to travelers and traders wanting to cross high mountain ranges. The Rotang Pass in Himachal Pradesh and Nathula in Sikkim are important passes in the Himalayas. The Himalayas has three mountains ranges that run parallel to each other. One is the Himadri or the Greater Himalayas. The second one is the Himachal or the Middle Himalayas. And the third one is the Shivalika or the Outer Himalayas. Now, the Himadri or Great Himalayas. This is the northernmost range of the Himalayas. It is the highest of the three ranges and contains all the highest peaks including Mount Everest. Most peaks in the Himadri remain permanently covered with snow. Kanchanjunga and Annapurna are two of the highest mountain peaks of these ranges. Kanchanjunga 8586 meter is the highest peak in India. Now it's time for tits and bits. The second highest mountain peak in the world is Mount Godwin Austin, also called K2. It is 8611 meter high and it lies in the Karakoram range. The Karakoram range lies in the north of the Himalayas. Several rivers such as Ganga, Yamuna, Brahmaputra, Indus and Satluj arise from the Himadri. They arise from the moving sheets of ice called glaciers. As the glacier move down the warmer regions, the ice melts and give rise to rivers. The river Ganga starts from the Gangotri glacier. The Himachal or Midden Himalayas. The Himachal range lies to the south of the Himadri range. The mountains are not as high as in the Himadri range. This region consists of forest covered mountain ranges and fertile and beautiful valleys. Only some peaks are covered with snow throughout the year. Most people live in hill towns such as Masuri, Shimla and Darjeeling or in valleys such as Srinagar, Nanital and Kangra, the Shivalik or Outer Himalayas. The southern and the lowest range of the Himalayas is the Shivalik. The slopes are covered with thick forest 
which are home to variety of wild animals. The area at the foothills of the Shivalik range is called the Tarai region. It receives heavy rainfall and the land is fertile. Deforestation in the Shivalik and the Terai region for wood and farmland has destroyed many of the forests. The government has made several protected forest areas such as Corbett National Park and the Kaziranga National Park to stop deforestation and protect animals. Planting of trees is also being taken up. The importance of the Himalayas. The Himalayas are very important for our country. They help us many ways. First one, the Himalayas act like a wall on our northern borders and protect our country from enemies. Second, they also protect us from the cold winds blowing from Central Asia. Third, the Himalayas stop the mon monsoon winds from going further north and thus bring heavy rainfall to the northern plains of India. Fourth, the forests in the Himalayan region are home to several wild animals. They are also a source of wood, medicines and other useful things. Five, several rivers originate in the Himalayas, they provide us with water and make our land fertile. Dams built over these rivers provide us with electricity. Life in the Northern Mountains A number of states are located in the Northern Mountains. These are Jammu and Kashmir, Union Territory, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim and Bengal, Assam, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, Meghalaya and Arunachal Pradesh. Jammu and Kashmir The Union Territory is almost entirely mountainous. It is very cold in winters. Srinagar is the summer capital and Jammu is its winter capital. The beautiful Kashmir Valley is a favorite of tourists. It is surrounded by snow-covered mountains and has the lovely Dal and Wooler lakes. House on boats called houseboats floats on the lake. These are mostly used as hotels. Small boats called shikaras are used for boating and as floating shops. The traditional loose kurta worn by men and women in Kashmir is called Firan. To keep warm in winter, people in Kashmir keep an earthen pot with burning coal known as Kangri beneath their Firan. The people of Kashmir make beautiful handicrafts from wood, brass, silver and paper mache. Saffron is a special crop here. Kashmir, Dogri, Urdu and Ladakhi are the languages spoken here. Eid and Shivratri are the main festivals. Himachal Pradesh Himachal Pradesh with its snow-clad mountains is a very beautiful state. Its capital in Shimla Thousands of tourists visit the hill station of Shimla, Delosi, Kullu and Manali every year. The toy train which takes people from Kalka to Shimla is a special attraction. The climate here is ideal for the growth of fruits like apples, cherries, plums, apricots and peaches. The traditional clothes of women include tight pajamas and loose kurtas with scarves around their heads. The men wear tight pajamas and loose shirts with colorful cap. Hindi is the official language of the state but people mostly speak in Pahari. The main festival are the Shara and Diwali. The Dashara celebration of Kullu are famous. Now Uttarakhand. 
This recently formed hill state contain the Garhwal and Kumaon ranges. Dehradun is the capital of the state. Masuri in Garhwal and Nainital in Kumaon are important hill stations. The slopes are covered with thick forest of pine, oak, deodar and fir trees. They are home to a variety of birds and animals. Gangotri, Yamnotri, Badrinath and Kedarnath are important places of religious and tourist interest. Sikkim, Gangtok is the capital of the small hill state. Kanchanjunga in Sikkim is the third highest mountain peak in the world. The state is famous for its orchids. Most of the people here belongs to the Lepcha, Bhutia or Nepali tribe. The women of the state traditionally wear long skirts called Baku and colorful jewelry made from beads. West Bengal the northern mountains are confined to the northern parts of the state. Darjeeling is a hill station situated in the northern part of West Bengal. It is famous for the tree grown on the slope of the hills. The northern eastern states. Towards the east, the Himalayan ranges run across the seven states of Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Tripura and Mizoram. They are called the Seven Sisters. Most of Arunachal Pradesh is covered by mountains. The Brahmaputra River enters India through the state. Its capital is Itanagar. Assam is the biggest state in the region. Its capital is Dispur. It has large tree plantation where thousands of people work. Assam is famous for its silk. Parts of Assam are covered by the northern plains. The capital of Meghalaya is the beautiful hill station of Shillong. The state gets the heaviest rainfall in the country. Nagaland is the ho home of the Nagas. Its capital is Kohima. The Nagas wear colorful shawls. The capital of Manipur is Imphal. The Manipuri dance is famous all over the country. Mizoram is situated in the south of the region. Its capital is Azol. The main language of the state is Mizo. Tripura is surrounded on the three sides by Bangladesh. Its capital is Agartala. The people of the state make beautiful things from cane and bamboo. Now it's time to looking back. The northern mountains include the Karakoram, Ladakh and the Himalayan ranges of mountains. The Himalayas has three mountain ranges, Himadri, Himachal and Shivalik. The Himadri is the highest and the Shivalik is the lowest of the ranges. Mount Everest in the Himalayas is the highest mountain in the world. The area at the foothills of the Shivalik ranges is called the Terai region. And the last one is the Himalayas is used to us in many ways. Now, Bye children, it's time to take your leave. We'll meet in the next chapter.